Thank you for joining us today at FM3 Design. Today we want to talk about the uh, bandsaw here and uh, the ballet and some of the issues that we've learned how to use it and some of the fun things that we've actually been able to accomplish. Not only does it do nice cuts and does angles and stuff like that, uh, it is a wet saw, so it saws through heavy material rather quickly. Uh, we do use a skip tooth bimetal blade that uh, we gather locally. So bottom line is that nice saw, nice uh, situation, good cutting. I'd like to take and show you a little more about it as we move through this. Thank you. The bandsaw is a Ballet BS260M. We purchased it several years ago and it's been very, very successful for us. Please note the end version and side pictures of it and coming up will be the uh, control panel. The control panel has the emergency stop, start, and maximum speed or the speed of the blade noted in foot per minute. It has a made on and off switch as you can see and it has the control descent uh, on and off switch for the um, switch on the handle. The uh, panel is uh, interactive and does an automatic shut off when it completes the uh, cut. The system is equipped with a hydraulic uh, setting motion to set the cut speed. My recommendation is to adjust the spring in the back, which we'll cover in a bit, to the correct level that will allow it to work correctly. The cut speed we've been experiencing is about a 5, although different materials and different thicknesses will cut at different rates. Also, we've also worked with areas that we had to cut as low as a 3, just because of the speed of the device. The spring handle that you see there, the T-handle, adjusts the amount of pressure that's the down pressure on the uh, blade. My suggestion is always to adjust it so that it does not press really hard on the blade and the material as the little too much down feed, if the mistakes made, will cause the system to destroy blades. The gauge is on the end of the device, which you've seen in a previous video. And this is how you adjust the pressure of the tension of the blade. And it's easy to do by simply there's a handle there and turn it to adjust it. And be sure to always check it on a regular basis as it does move around with the bar barometric pressure and the stretch of the blade. As you can see here, the water control valve is a little toggle valve that you turn back and forth and it supplies water to both the front of the cutting edge and the back of the cutting edge so that you can actually have a, a better control cut and you don't have too much water running around. That can be a little bit of a problem. Preparation for sawing. Be sure and get your material level and clamped. And then your measurement for the sake of easiness. If this is the part you're going to keep, measure from here to the edge of the blade and bring the blade down close. When you bring the machine up to speed, a few things to take in consideration. Make sure the blade is adjusted correctly with the correct tension on so the blade holds true. Hold your spacer out about the right distance. Get your uh, clamp guard moved up about the right position so that it clears but everything works. Another thing is the uh, feed rate. And we talked a little bit about the spring in the back and how you adjust it so you don't have all the weight of the, uh, on the bandsaw and you don't want any more weight than what the bandsaw can handle. Uh, with what it's working on. This is a feed rate device here. So we're going to power up the saw. And it's got a water feed on it. You see the water feeding there. I'm going to flip the lever up and start the feed of it. And we try to keep our feed about, we, we've had good luck with about number five. We realize that a lot of times you should be cutting this vertically because uh, it cuts quicker, but we prefer just for the sake of this example to cut it horizontally so you can see uh, what, what, what we're actually uh, gathering in this. And also too, I think horizontally might give us a little better, smoother cut. Now 
And you'll notice that as we finish the cut, the saw goes down, hits the, the turn off switch, turns the saw off, and then uh, so it doesn't keep running and stuff like that. And then I usually flip the lever down, raise the uh, band saw up, enough to clear everything, and we're ready to take and reset for the next cut. Hopefully this has been an informative video. I look forward to having you check with us again and see what other videos we have coming down the line. On this plate shown here, it shows you the different capacities by width and angle and stuff. Uh, it does uh, cut all kinds of angles, depends on how you want to set it up. We appreciate your time and thank you for joining us and we'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Talk to you very soon. Thank you.